Hello, Rogue Seven, and welcome to a very first look at uh, Shadow Empire. First for me, obviously this game has been out for quite some time now, actually. A phenomenal uh, 4X war game, really, um, with, okay, some pretty serious 90s vibes in terms of the artwork, you can't really escape that. Um, but it's hugely, hugely complex, hugely deep, something I've uh, had on my kind of get to grips with list for a while. And I haven't I haven't got around that far yet, so uh, this is going to be probably it's my kind of first foray into the game. It's going to be a bit bumbling, so I'm going to apologise for that in advance. Um, for anyone unfamiliar with the game, um, it's set in the far future, essentially after the collapse of a galactic empire, uh, and now you are fighting over whatever the scraps of whatever planet you are left on, and you're trying to rebuild a civilization. And it is hugely customizable, everything from. Oh, let me just get the. Uh, Use it back on. Um, everything from the planet you're on to the civilization to to your your kind of ideology. Um, you can obviously tech and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, you can really kind of set up to go in any direction you want. Um, so let us maybe just jump in. We'll start having a look at it. Since we're in very much Christmas time, and this is going to going to go out. Well, we are sitting five days before Christmas when I'm recording this. Um, why don't we do a little bit of a winter wonderland? Um, so yeah, so like I said, first thing, we get, first thing you'll do when you set up a game is actually build your planet. It's, it is cool, right? So even before you get to actually play anything, I love the, the planetary building aspect of it. And you can really kind of uh, set up the game you want. Uh, so you can go anything from just a unclassified through these various classes to just a moon. Uh, and there's uh, in the manuals a description about what each of these are. Uh, so I think it's like a desert. That's kind of an icy desert. Um, I think that's Earth-like. And then there's, I think that's more of an more of an ocean one. I can't quite remember off the top of my head. It's in the manual. The manual, by the way, 370 odd pages is uh, extensive. I've not, I've not been through it in detail yet. So uh, probably going to get a few things wrong. But this was, I thought I'd just. I dive in, hit my head off a couple of things, and then maybe go on from there. Oh, did I get a tilt tip? I didn't get a tilt tip. There you go, ice planets. That's good. What's a lava plant? Right, so let's go for a winter wonderland. Um, you can push the um, history of your planet in any particular direction if you want um, a specific flavour to your playthrough. Uh, we could push alien life. Hmm, interesting. So I initially I thought I'll just leave it all blank, but because we're on an ice planet, it's going to be cold. Chance of alien life are pretty slim. Or aliens? Yeah, why not? We'll throw. We're going to force alien life and see what it comes up with. Let's go for it. Uh, generation, right? We'll go through the detailed planet generation because that sounds ace. Fog of war. Um, I like complete after colonization. So what's going to happen is they're going to build the world. They're going to build it as it was during the height of the galactic empire, and then it's going to fall apart, and you'll get a remnants of that. So I, I think it's it's fair and right that we know what the world looked like before the Great Fall. So I'm leave that on. Um, just one human player. I'd say let's push up to meet from a one city to two zone start. Maybe give us a little bit of a faster playthrough. Uh, and again, we'll give ourselves a one army per zone rather than just militia. So yeah, a little bit of a faster start, especially if there's some bugs out there. Uh, I've left the story module on. I know a lot of play people I, I see don't use these, but we'll leave it on for just now. Uh, basic tech level, basic speed. Um, yeah, we'll start with just the one council. I'll put it on regular, even though I don't know what I'm doing, because you know what, losing is fun, and that's fine. Oh, all right. So this is our first glimpse of what the planet's going to be. Um, so here we are. We are almost perfect and fast order. We got a yellow white star. We're sitting at seven astronomical units out. A chilly minus four. That's not too bad. In a radius of three point six kilometers. Uh, we could, should we push it a little bit colder? Yeah, let's go for more of an ice if we can get it. Minus 26, now it's a bit colder. I like that idea perhaps. Interesting axis here, tilts only 2 degrees, we're a bit further out. Bill yellow white star, it's almost, almost a day for our, our spin. Uh, and it's not so much gravity. I don't know how much problem that is. Let's give this a go. Watch me build an ice planet where we all just starve to death. Uh, you know, because that's what happens when you don't play test. Alright, so we've got a planet, now we get to pick our geology. So, first roll, we've got an arid planet, minimal water, an atmosphere, very high, our mountains, oceans, but 
all pretty much frozen. Let's reroll this. See if we can get a better uh, better look at the map. I don't like all the water just like completely dispersed. I don't think that looks very good. Oh, I like the mountains. I don't like the complete lack of oceans though. Oh, it's a little bit. Oh no, I don't like that. I don't like it. Mm. Oh, it's actually quite a big map. This is a massive map. Okay. Alright, I'm liking some of this. It's insanely cold at the poles. Barely habitable in the middle, uh, in the tropics. Bit of water, not so much. Actually, it's 22% mountain. It's a lot. It looks like these are kind of hills and things. Alright. Whatever, we'll see this works. 10 mils of rain, a little bit of wind. A desert planet without surface water. I mean, you say that. I think you're wrong. But anyway, let's go. So now, I, I'm, I'm willing to bet this would not ordinarily have life, but we have forced it. Interesting. A biogenesis. Uh, complex life forms with skeletons. Okay. So this is because we, cause this was, should just be an, an icy wasteland, but we've, we've forced this in the options. A five meter herb, herbivore. That's cool. Uh, mainly nitrogen based, which makes sense. Uh, so we can actually farm here. Interesting. Even with the, try the temperature in Parax. Uh, let's see what else we can get. <clears throat> Again, nitrogen based. Looks like there's no fauna this time. Flora this time. I know what they mean. Um. Cloud forest. Oh, apparently there is. Oh, down here. At the poles. That's interesting. <clears throat> um, and a large herbivore again. Let's maybe roll another. Complex life forms of skeletons. Large carnivore. Oh, this sounds fun. Argon based. Got some forests. Alright, let's go with this. Maybe not as icy as I thought it was going to be. It should be though when we uh, actually see what the temperatures look like. We've got a nice uh, an Unachiton carnivore to come and mess us up. Okay, now we've got colonization. So this is again what it was like. Um, and the, and the whole history of the planet has just been procedurally generated. This was mainly mainly a services colony. It's Nineteen zones, a lot of zones. Let's do less than that. A services coming again. I, I feel like it should be more, not agriculture, more maybe more mining. It's not going to happen, is it? Also, that's a that's a, that's a really low population. Nineteen zones with only sixty-three million people. How? This is before the calamity. Three hundred fifty. That's a, a bit better. That's a lot of zones, though. Although I'm not that familiar with the game, I don't know exactly what I'm looking for. Yeah, let's try this. 108 million, 15 zones, still a service economy. Whole history of what happened here. So from, uh, where are we? 741. We created workshops, mining company, corporation, da 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 da. All that cool stuff. And now we have the dissolution war. Let's see what we're left with. One and a half million. So it's all that's left on the planet. Mainly scavengers, a little bit raiders, and lots of farmers. Maybe we, we are going to have a farming place. Technology fell to barbaric levels of a century of warfare and collapse. As you can see, uh, systems start ham hamstring goods and liquid energy, energy shortage, and everything just collapses. We go back to learning how to do it all over again. Oh, terrible plague kills a large percentage of the population. Mm -mm. So it's, I suppose it's the problem with these things is if you've got, um, you know, I suppose it's like the global things scaled up. If suddenly all trade stopped, you'd have a huge difficulties maintaining our current standard of thing. Okay, Vo Vororia Secundus. Cool. Let's give it a go.
All right, now we get to customize our name. The Jupiter Empire. Nah. What are we called? Uh, uh. I'm trying to think of something Christmassy. And we can be the Cult of Noel. That's nice and crisp, isn't it? It's got to be Father, surely. Uh, probably colours. We have a red in here. Uh, and we need... Well, our units can be red, actually. And... This is red and white. I want to change. Maybe blocked. And there he is. He's looking a bit thin, actually, isn't he? Um, we could go up the symbolizing the elves workshop here. Nah, we'll go for this. There you go. A shadowy Father Christmas, the cult of the well. I like it. Let's roll. I like these. <laughs> I love the fact this game was released in what? What was it? 20? 20? 20? 20? 20, 20, 20, 20, I can't remember if it's quite that old. But the state of this artwork, man. And I know it's created by one guy, and I know he does phenomenal stuff and lots of deep, complex systems. And I just hope that, like, hope the game is popular enough. They can maybe just fork out for an artist to come and redo all the splash screens, because they look bad. Humorous, though. It's like, it's oh, actually, do you know what? It's almost one of those things where it's so 90s. It's awesome. Anyway, uh, as we, you know, idly chat, the great states were dissolved. Uh, humanity spread, hiding. Well, father, I'm like, starvation and, ag and structural lack of food stuff was the biggest enemy. Less food, there was less food than people to feed. How did our ancestors manage to avoid the chaos and anarchy in the community? So this is where you can start pushing the direction that your uh, ideology is going to go in. Um, we can go either into enforcement, government, or commerce. So we could shoot anyone. Pull protest of starvation, we could promise technological breakthroughs to give hope, or sacrificing the old to save the young. Mmm. Mmm. How do we feel? Well, let's go, let's, let's, let's RP a little bit. It's not, not so much technological breakthroughs, but we, um, we promise, you know, magical gifts that would see us through. Uh, the predecessor entity of our empire managed to knit their people into a tight and coherent group. How did they manage to do this? Swore oaths of loyalty, they wrote a book of law and enforced it, and they did many great deeds that inspired awe and loyalty. Well, we're definitely, we did many great deeds. Good old Saint Nick. And finally, a series of ancient leaders led our people from the brink of a station to a more prosperous, small survivor community. What was the sacred goal of our leaders of yore? Rediscovery of lost knowledge and technology, maybe. Strong militia that could protect and conquer, not so much. Happiness and the quality of life of the people. Yeah, we're all about happiness. Festive cheer. Sweet. Watch this, we'll have 20 minutes to set up and then I'll like die in the first turn. <laughs> the previous father is now buried. Ash to ashes, dust to dust. It's not up to you to lead the empire to victory. You are father of Cult of Noel. The father of Cult of Noel. Some subjects cheer your ascension, but not all. Hail and undress the Empire as soon as possible. What do they get naming this? A new zeitgeist wanders through the land. We're entering a time of bureaucracy. Excellent. <laughs> well, actually, it is excellent because you get extra bureaucratic points, which is like. Um, oh, I don't really know how to explain that. It's, it's what you spend on everything uh, in terms of uh, kind of research and development and all that kind of bits and pieces. That's a really, really rubbish explanation, by the way. But it's good that we have more of them. I'm using your fate strategy. So this is how the, the yeah, I suppose they try and mix up the little bit of the, um, uh, what you call it, F traditional forex elements with these kind of cards, which can quite uh, significantly influence the game. Uh, ambition, I still have capital. Hmm, that might be quite good. Calm them down, gladiators. Oh, that would be cool. Uh, and some more stratagems. Very good. All right. Everly is eagerly awaiting my ascension speech. Most of the peoples and leaders of a cult in Noel I'm still an unknown. What do you plan to do with a newly gained power? The question on everyone's lips is, what will be our strong point? Uh, so we have... Here we go. So this is our current leanings. So we can either be kind of 
Dem democratic autocratic met met metro meto met uh, a meritocracy words uh we can lean towards government enforcement or commerce and we can lean towards fist mind or heart i feel like we should be more heart uh, and if you get high enough and also each of these are somewhat mutually exclusive so as you go up in one it kind of pushes another one down and oh my god are we in the middle of a radioactive wasteland <laughs> Oh my. All right, this could be challenging. Right, hard and merciless, we'll pure fist. we we'll strong, but caring. Uh, which this chap, who is the commander of our first uh, SHQ, so he's our leader of our military, I believe. He likes that idea. Technological or balanced. Let's go, let's go for heart. This dude likes us more and we gain a Art profile points so it pushes up not quite dominant yet but work there do we want a new organization we probably do so we've only got the supreme council yeah we think we want a, we want a couple of these not too many because we do dilute your your uh, bonus points throughout them but things we need we probably want um research councils really don't we military research is probably a sensible place to start economic research can i see the research screen please somewhere in here Maybe. Uh, hmm. May I have to turn off all these clicking that's... String or B, start references. This is where a lack of knowledge with the game is going to hinder me somewhat. Visions. Here we go, reports. Reports, that's what I want, I think. Do I? History, Bitcom, Management, Management, Tech. There we go, got that in the end. Right. Um, what do we need for this stuff? Mainly economic councils. I think it's probably a priority. We want economic council, we want a military council. Yeah. Okay, good. I will try and do as little bumbling as I can, but uh, no promises. That's what we currently have asset wise. Let's go back to that. Let's see. Let's go back to our decisions. Let's see, I would like an economic council, please. Okay. Would I like to upgrade to Big Town? Now I know there are game reasons not to upgrade because the more you upgrade, the more people want stuff. Um. So potentially this could go badly for us. But hey, we've got a rail and everything. That's awesome. But I'm gonna say let's do it. Let's Copy upgrade. That. You know. No such, no, no, no such thing as a... Uh, no. Ah, whatever. This is not a bad decision, but that's clear nonsense. Uh, no such thing as an unfun decision. There we go. Okay, decision times, enter buttons. Thank you very much. Go away. So we have our one army here uh, outside of this place. Jupiter. Uh, and then we've got... What's down here? Ephario, city level 2. Um, and then we've got two armies. And we can... Any militia or just armies? Looks like just armies at the minute. Um, and we can send these dudes out into this radioactive wasteland to take territory. So as long as it's not another major, we can just take it. And there's definitely advantages in doing that. Oh, we do have some militia. Beautiful. Right, well, I'm going to start sending them out into the desert. Uh... A fairly near the road, I think, for this motorized unit, he's going to need fuel and things. A large library sounds excellent, I'd like that. Uh, well, actually, we'll have all you push out. Savannah, 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 that's okay. We are... are we quite near the bottom? Relatively near the bottom of the map, so we can kind of try and build ourselves a little corner in. I'll have this military push out. Military militia. We've captured this cyber robot factory, so that's now ours. Uh, and you are SHQ, that's fine. So you are Supreme uh, Headquarters. Hey, Extreme. What is this game about? Um, it is a uh, essentially a 4X uh, slash war game uh, focused on a world that has been 
collapsed after a big galactic war uh, and you're rebuilding you're one of those kind of survivor factions and you're kind of yeah re restaking your claim on the planet and it's all very much kind of procedurally generated planets and histories and all that kind of stuff and um you kind of make of it what you will the graphics are pretty shaky but the uh, gameplay is pretty good although i've watched more than i've played at this juncture so i'm looking to uh change that why don't we send this should be our our second uh oh that's our first letter are you my second then third Oh, well, that makes sense. Of course you have that. Oh no, 3rd MG Battalion of... Show me your OB, please. 1st MG Infantry Blade and this... Okay, so we've got a Light Infantry and Machine Gun Brigade. Good to know. Let's push you guys out in this direction and see what we can find. Now we do know there are... Was it? 4 meter uh, large carnivores in this world. What games do I normally play? Um. All sorts. So on a on a Monday, I tend to go for maybe more of uh, strategy, more gamey type things. So uh, strategic command, I've done a bit of Shadow Ember, Armored Brigade, um, Rule the Waves, a bit more kind of niche things. And then on my kind of Thursdays and Wednesdays, I do all sorts. So I do kind of Hearts of Iron. I've done a lot of Phoenix Point lately. Um, I've done a fair bunch of RimWorld in the past. So um, yeah, definitely kind of strategy focused, but Fairly variety. Look, well, it's city builders. So that was a fair while ago. I did uh, before we leave. Did a playthrough of that. So okay, we'll push these guys out there. He might struggle with fueled being a forest from this road. You love RimWorld. It is a fantastic game, is RimWorld. Uh, despite its age, it just uh, yeah always draws you back in. I find it's one that I'll play for a long time and then give it a break and then you go back and sink many more hours into it. Uh, let us, what are these? Low mountains, yeah that's pretty rough. Sucks the old movement points. This is a nice defensive uh, buffer though in this direction. Let's maybe push out to, to the right here, try and expand our territory a little bit, just around the edge of these mountains rather than through the middle of it. Okay, what else have we got? We have assets uh, in style, oh, please. Uh, so this is a, a logistics base. No, scavenging community. Okay, Pu uh, publicly owned scavenging community. This is uh, an agri farm, which looks like it's slightly short on water. Uh, we have no water. I'm sorry, what? Right, well, that could be a slight problem. That's probably going to be our top priority then. In, in Jupiter itself, we've got a rail network, high command, uh, a publicly owned farm, a publicly owned transport hub, and our liquid reactor. That looks all fine and very good. And then the Fario farm hub railhead, not much going on. Okay. So yeah, let's maybe get water as a first priority. This seems to have water there. It does indeed. Who doesn't love cannibalism? Organ harvesting is best. It is true, the old uh, human leather hats. Although, you know, I'm too, I end up being too much of a nice guy when I play. Uh, try and, you know, save everyone and not eat them, but where's the fun in that? I, I would very much like to... To... Not construct road. Build something. I need to work out how to do that. Logistics, order mode. Nope, don't want that. Construct, here we go. I would like to construct ice mining. I believe that's what we're after. Yeah. It's going to take two rounds. It's going to take me one of these techie things, which I don't have. I should be able to produce these. I think I can produce these artisanally. A thousand people, which shouldn't be a problem. Uh, 125 metal, which that's going to be tight. 125 industrial points. How do you play in Rimworld without harvesting some organs? You can, you know, help people. 
and you know produce drugs for money but you'll get me a thousand more which i think we are going to need so uh power we're good on let's do it let's start construction now let's have a look at uh actually no, let's have a look at a workshop see if we can make no not ammunitions one machine costs you can uh oh rare metals all right so we need either a machine uh or rare metals from the trade i would like to buy you could buy a machine how much money have i got not that much, but machines are pretty cheap right now. They'll get much, much more expensive. I'd spend all my money. That seems somewhat foolish. Let me spend, let's say, three. Yes, sir. And let's buy a bunch of water to keep us going for a little bit. Yes, sir. All right. We've got food. We'll then have water. Excellent. The next part of that is probably going to be. Uh, metal getting up and running. Let's not over uh, over plan. That's going to take up most of our IP for just now. We want to get our our agri domes up and running at full full capacity. Plus, obviously, you know, I hear giving people a drink is useful. How? Just how bad is this radiation? Fifty nine. I don't know what that's like. This is equal to radiation hazard level one. Okay, it's not horrendous. Oh, one hundred and sixty level two. One seventy three, one hundred and seventy eight, one hundred and ninety. Yeah, these are. Um, this is not necessarily a pleasant part of the world we've chosen to settle. Or choose to settle. We've ended up, found ourselves in. Right. How much more? I think that's going to be us for return. Actually, have a quick look at strategy cards because we could. You drop some of these. We do have only got one fate point at the minute. Just drop a radiation leak. What do you do? Just a massive bunch of danger, which will burn off. You'll give me three fate points, and we're already radiated. Hang on, there we go. Let's let's go for this. Copy that. So danger has gone up by 38, which is uh, like 4d10, which is like a very high roll. Um, okay, good. So that means in one of our places, I didn't check which one, people are going to be pretty upset. Uh, doo -doo -doo, where are we? Population, we've got workers. We've got culture. It's down here. Cult followers, militancy. Was it down in the Fario it popped in? Fear. Alright, so that's gonna that'll slowly tick down, might cause a bit of unrest, but I think we'll be And that should allow us to do a positive one. So we could do gladiators, which is pretty good. Just give us a an arena, make people happy. Or extra light industry. Oh that's also really good. Because that should, I believe, equate to industrial points at this stage of the game. So we have there's all the uh, hang on public ones. Oh, there is no light in this. In, uh, huh. No, there doesn't seem to be any publicly owned light industry. Perhaps we should grab that. Uh, the cyber robot factory we get over here is giving us a hundred uh, uh, military research bonus points, which is nice. Alright, you know what? Let's go for it. Copy that. Right, private light industry. Excellent. Uh, where is she? There we go, light industry one. You will now produce uh, 20 IP for me. So that's, considering we're only getting under the turn, that's quite a nice little boost early on in the game. Okay, I think that's us done. So one thing this game doesn't have is a um uh what do you call it like a checklist of have you you know don't forget to move these people or have you done this so invariably it means I'm gonna to forget to do stuff. But for a first foray that is fine. 
Oh, hello. Uh, ah, militia parade, lovely. Bureaucracy doing its thing. Our scab teams found hidden treasure. So we get some fuel, okay. Uh, okay, we've got a new diplomacy action there. Uh, uh, sure, Vic, you can have my metrics. I'm okay with you. So this is the entire game is made by one, oh, hello, one guy. A chap called Vic. Pretty phenomenal, really. Okay, three decisions. National budget, we'll have a look at it. Adventurers and a militia parade. We've got an organization decision, so that's a new economic council we set up. And a zone. Let's go for Let's start with this one. These adventurers. We've received a radio contact from this place. Uh, we request, request them hold on to it. Yes or no? I don't think this is going to be too challenging. Uh, for us to hold. It's quite close to our territory and there's no real known threat, so we'll say, yeah, we'll hold on to that. Beautiful. Uh, a militia parade. Do we want to have one? What's it going to cost me? A bit of money and uh, we can get some boost to militia. Now militia is, is kind of it's pretty early game, but does fall away. Uh, how much money have we got? None. So we could trade for it though. Except we need uh, our money because we think we need metal. Look, this is one of the things where it is. So I think he's taken everything he needs. Yeah. Maybe. It's not, it's not a very simple system. It's not just that oh, you see it here and it deducts the next turn. They actually take some of his stuff in advance. Uh, that's fine. Let's... Is there anything we can actually sell? Hang on. Great. What have we got? We sell some fuel, I suppose. We just found some of that. Uh, we sell some food, actually. We've got lots of food. Anyone want food? Uh, sell. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Not worth a lot of money, but it's something. 183. Question is, do we want to... What? what? Excuse me. Why can't I cannot do that now? I can. Ha, just click off, click on again. Sure, we'll spend our money. Well, we might be starving, we're not of water. Oh, not starving. We might be dying of thirst. But we've got a parade. Okay. Economic Council. So this is how we want to sp split our BP. Uh, if, uh, I don't know. Let's, it's going to annoy people, but sure, we'll do that. She's in a bit of eggs, took some money away from her. Fine. We need a leader. Um, you have a suitability rating of zero. I don't, do I have any other choices? It would appear not. Fine, you're a terrible chip. Roger that. But you've got the job. What will you guys do? Uh, so research this one is, is interesting. You've got to first you have to discover the tech and then you get to research it. And you can do them at different rates. Uh, let's maybe prospect a little bit rest, less and let's maybe do policies a little bit less. We'll put you down to say 10. And then let's buff that up to say we need to find these first. So let's go to say 40. That sounds good. I have no idea what the kind of meta is for that. Just feeling my way. Okay. Eternity, Eternity Movement poses a personal session. The gurus of the movement have asked if you'd like a personal mediation session. He tells it would be beneficial for your soul to spend some time with them. A negative reply will deteriorate our relationship with them. A positive reply will increase the strength of the cult. This is one of the story elements that we've got. We've got. Do we? We are a cult. Do we want another cult? Mm, no, we don't want another cult. Copy that. There's only one cult here. It's the cult of Noel. All hail the jolly father. Cool. Right. So ice mines building. Um. Yeah. Those guys were not fully supplied last turn. Neither was this chap. To be expected. So you, if you stay there, we'll have these guys kind of swing down. 
I may need to extend um, my dirt road down to south here. Which maybe I should do. If I go to something around here. Truck road. Dirt road. Oh, 20 IP. That's a slight issue, actually. I don't have that much IP. Mm, okay. You know what? You're just going to suck it and see. For just now. Oh, hello. Uh, I need to go back into... Move mode. Just head along the way towards Monta. We'll just capture a waffling. Good. Uh, so it looks to it to be some kind of miner. So we can take pretty much all the territory without them objecting too much to it. Although they can do the same to us until we agree to like uh, like honor honor borders or some something along that ilk. And we keep guys along the road. Keep you buddies marching south towards all this lovely scrap which we may be able to use at some point in the future. Of you guys swinging over this way. At some point, we're going to see bits of our land, our borders, be pushed in by either raiders or an independent or uh, some of these carnivores we've talked about. It might be useful. I wonder if we could raise uh, some troops, uh, some formations. I re um, probably not. You can raise a single brigade. But I'll not do it just yet. Might want to raise a third in, uh, infantry corps just to kind of push out in this way and uh, ultimately hold the line against whatever threat appears. But I think our priority's got to be make sure we get stabilised on this old waterfront before our population die. Um, and then we're going to want to build some scavenging stuff. Um... So we can get start getting some rare earth metals and some other metals. Okay, I would call that a day there. Okay. We discovered fuel deposits. Nice. And Bioxy still ticks away. Stuff going on. So, fuel. Fuel here. Excellent. So we can now. We don't need it really because we don't have that much way and that much fuel consumption, but it's nice to know it's there. You. You were short of metal. Ah. Uh, poo. Okay. Let us then trade. Uh, I want to buy metal. Metal is. Only 22 available. Oh boy. That's... this could be problematic. Is there... Oh, select these both. Hmm. Uh, you. You do give me 56 metal. Okay, so we are getting a slow tick in of metal, so we will get it eventually. Private oil. Um, fine. Not ideal. But there you go. Hey, they're building sewers though. That's cool. Well, we should be building something recycling. Seeing what we've got, we could do with. Uh... <laughs> yeah, we're capturing some of that waste. As lovely a thought as that is. Uh, shall we buy this twenty-two metal? I mean, I could do the maths at some point and try and work out if we've quite got enough, but. That seems like a lot of hard work. Let us sell a bunch of fuel because I'm not really using it. Yes, sir. And then buy. Oh, that was limited by my cash. Got you. That wasn't limited by the market. Sure, we'll just buy up all the mail. Yes, sir. Okay. And look, we're broke. This will be it. Maybe we'll find a nice uh, cache of monies. Oh, hello, we've got a dream bar, a luxury brothel. <laughs> well, yes, sir, oh. Run, run, run. 
Okay, so as we um, were pretty happy about the brothel we just found, uh, we got some of our militia killed. So what's happened, this is the, the combat screen, as you see, you can get a lot of units in here. Um, and there is, well this is the ambush ones, so you don't see the general rounds, but... Uh, yeah, we got, we just got hosed essentially, and we lost one of our militia units, okay? So there is a, it's a library there, that's a good tile. I think there's also a horrible beastie there. There you go. So we've now spotted him. There's a lot of horrible beasties there. Uh, no, I don't want that. I want this one. This one? Here we go. There's 3300 Pot Potos? Potos. In the Chung Potos. We, we got ambushed by this carnivore thing. Yeah. So here you go. There's 3300 4 meter large carnivores in that tile. Um, with oh, crab things, mollusks. That's cool. Hydrogen fluid, carbon based, oxygen breathing, ambush a predator. Well, that worked. Okay, let's see how this compares. So, 170 hit points. Fair enough. Soft attack of 163. Hard attack 56. Soft defense 45. Hard defense of 11. Okay. I think. From what I remember, that is significantly better than our, well, our militia. 10 and 20. Oh my god, you're going to get eaten so badly. Um, and even, even our regulars aren't that good. No, 23 and 46. Oh boy. Oh boy, this is going to go badly for us. Let's grab that library though. Libraries are good. You will give me um, research. Yeah. P bonus. Um, yeah, you're problematic. Okay, let's see what happens here. We may be about to sacrifice some of our friends. And if one of the advantages we have is maybe we can pull back into the mountains, which does give a nice defensive boost. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh, we did ask for it. We know we can't. Can't blame them too much for the massive irradiated monsters when we said, can we please have massive irradiated monsters in our game? We got freedom shelter, which gives us 200 population every turn. Nice little boost. I if we can, you know, give them more. So, I really should put my headquarters units quite so much on the front line, but it's not really a front line at the minute, so. So that's fine. Uh, I've also got all my professional forces over here, so I'll maybe swing them in a different direction. I think militia is going to end up being bogged down over here. Meanwhile, tractor compound. What do you do for me? Oh, IP. Nice. So these guys are going to keep pushing uh, out in this direction. Yes, sir. We're definitely making gunfire. Run, run, run. We find some new friends. Uh, at least they are not. Thousands upon thousands of four meter long carnivores. Uh, they have like, three foot marauders. Okay. So these guys are, are going to be much more akin to uh, we can fight. A lot of them though, 3800, 1020. Standard militia. Should be able to um, cut them off and hopefully maybe uh, surround them and beat them up. Yeah, that's all my army stuff done. Good. You should be done if we look at our assets. Oh no, no, I'll just start with time with that. Next time you should be done. Let's look at decisions. Wilkin Dark? Who is Wilkin Dark? You, Simon Wilkin Dark. Army man. You want to our party for the veterans. We can improve government and we can improve heart. Um what are we going for? Heart I say we should go for. No worry about hearts and minds. Government uh, comma, I mean, honestly, if we're going Christmas and Santa, I feel we should maybe lean commerce. Um, I like the heart, so we're going for that. We'll see, yes. Roger. And I like, you know, a uh, party for the veterans sounds like a nice idea. I don't want to be too min maxi. We've not seen you play some very experienced mercenaries currently employed by the police force, because that's what your police need. They're militia units. Uh, militia is open to the idea. 
Um, and it will give them... What? Experience? Yeah, sure. Ah, swoop. Mass experience boost. And we could upgrade small town of Ifario to a big town. Probably a bad Stop idea, that. but yeah, let's do it. I'm hopeful that has a, bo a, a, a positive impact on the private industry at a cost of having more services required. But I don't know for sure. Alright. Ah, so here you can see, because this is over, because, so these are influence each other, and because um, these now add up over 100, they're going to start to degrade. And, but it's not an even, not even Stevens. So the one on this side of arrow will um, degrade half as fast as this one, or this one does twice as fast. Everyone, think your eggs. Uh, so these will, will, so how many points over are we? Five? So I will probably lose, I'll lose three and I'll lose two, something like that. Alright, uh, we've done this, we've done that. Anything else we need to do? Not really. Still waiting on really tech to be found. Maybe I should have fought, started with my four basic councils. What's this button? Low oh, treasury, don't worry about it. Middle production. Yeah. Yeah, gold. Okay. That's cool. I think we're done. So priority number one is let's get this water rocking and rolling and then we're going to have to get some more, more metal. And let's see what these bugs do to us. And with that, we're going to draw this first episode to a close. But don't worry, we'll pick up the action right where we left off in the next episode. So I do hope you are enjoying this first little look at Shadow Empire. I must admit, I really enjoyed the kind of couple hours I've had with it to date. Uh, I'm interested to hear any kind of thoughts or feedback that you guys might have. But as ever, I hope you have enjoyed this and I'll catch you all in the next one.